Hello everybody and welcome back to the most cursed playthrough of this game of all time. In the last episode we entered Snowman's Land and we did a Bowser level and we did something else and we've got two stars now and already we have access to the upper floor. It's, if you've missed last episode it's worth giving it a watch, you'll be able to find it easily probably. So we have Snowman's Land to go to if we want to but let's, let's explore some other levels first. Let's see what other levels and options we have to go through. That is the most exciting thing here, and I probably should be reading the dialogue boxes since I've randomized them as well. Uh, I forgot that. I'll try to keep that in mind as we go along. That being said, the new level we can now access is... not very exciting at all. Because it's, it's literally just getting eight red coins while swimming around. This is probably one of the most boring levels in the game. Honestly, I like the atmosphere. And the skyboxes uh, being randomized also gives this a little bit of a different atmosphere, to be honest. Not much. Not much, granted. But a little bit. Uh, where are the other coins? I am still missing like three, I think. I've never had issues with this level before. <laughs> Seriously, where are the other red coins? There's supposed to be eight of them, right? I think I've got four or five, potentially. Well, they're not red coins in this case, they're blue coins, aren't they? Oh, they're on the floor. That makes a lot of sense. I probably got four and then in every corner there's another one making eight. And that's going to get us the star for this level. And it's going to be the only star for this level, which isn't that bad actually, because we only needed three to unlock the next door anyway for the next level. And uh, we have at least one world uh, or one level here unlocked which we can use that being snowman land and then we've got pretty much the entire upper floor because star doors really don't exist there anymore uh, everything is just available at all times because usually when you get there you have plenty of stars anyway right so that's uh, that is always a very good way to uh, fix some stars in case we we get into a point where we can't get enough stars with the levels available to us on the on the normal the the, uh, the first floor, right? Well, depending on whether you are uh, w whether you are American or European, uh, that being the uh, first floor or the uh, ground floor. Do you give me? I, I remember there being a toad or two toads that give me a free star. Uh, that's not it. But let's see what he actually had to say because I didn't read like at all. And I just said I probably should be reading the dialogue a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to do it in Toad's voice because that's going to destroy my throat. Can you please, Toad? I'm trying to talk to you. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let's go into the next star door and see what awaits us beyond that one. And that's going to be the last one for this world as well, actually. So, so far we have the option to go back into the Bowser level. It's Lisa Lava Land again. Yeah, I, I, I am aware. Um, this one actually got randomized into a different painting, huh? Isn't that also a level up there, by the way? I think it is. Isn't it? Might not be. It might not be, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, knock it off, that's the second time you've nailed me. Whoa, Toad, personal space. Now you're asking for it. Linguini breath? Who is that usually? Okay, so this still is Tall Tall Mountain. So that didn't get randomized. I I'm not entirely sure what parts got randomized and what parts didn't get randomized because I had a lot of attempts, some of which were successful, some of which were less successful, uh, all with different parameters. So sometimes I might be surprised to find certain things being randomized and other things not being randomized. Uh, but apparently I did not actually randomize the paintings here this time around, which is a little bit too bad because I would have liked to have that surprise as well. But most of them are question marks anyway, so who really cares? Would have been nice if uh, if some of the paintings were paintings of, well, usually not levels, just paintings you usually couldn't get into. That would have been a nice little touch rather than everything just being... Wait, I can't climb on this? What is this? A Mario game <laughs> but you can't climb on vines? Is it usually the case? It must be. I, I, I don't imagine 
And they changed that for this uh, for this randomization. I don't know why I'm suddenly so bad at jumping. The answer is Mario 64 is, while a fun game, a little bit iffy sometimes. So, yeah. Especially with the camera. This is absolutely fantastic camera work, isn't it? Oh, that's the... Okay, so those are the red coins. Let, let's do the red coin first, because we're here now anyway, and I think most of the red coins uh, are on this jumping puzzle platforming challenge anyway. And that is annoying. And I don't really want to scale the entire mountain, because that takes a while, and I, I'm impatient. That's, that's pretty much it. If I could just control the camera a little bit more, that would be fan freaking tastic Sadly, though, I don't think I can very well. Wait a second, can't I just backflip onto... I think I might be able to. Oh, my. <laughs> that... I, I don't think I can. In which case, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do there. Let's try the backflip thing again, because that seems to be the best option we have. Again. As a 3D platformer, Mario 64 aged not very well. Mostly because it's a 3D platformer, but it also has 8 directional movement, I think. Um, maybe it's got 16 directions, but I think it's only 8 directional movement. Which doesn't really help uh, very much. That being said, I, I doubt it's actually 8 directional, because the N64 had an analog stick. So it probably is more than 8 directions. But it, it's by far not 360 degree movement at all. And add on top of that the less than amazing camera, it, it becomes an issue. <laughs> I really much prefer the uh, DS version of this game, as I think most people do. There are certain things that the DS version on a design level doesn't do as well. The fact that you have a bottom screen really makes things like looking for some uh, for the red coins, for instance, kind of trivial and not that important. But by, by and large, just from a gameplay perspective, uh, I do think it's much, much better. And... This is nice and calming music. That being said, this slide is not nice and not calming whatsoever. This slide is actual hell. So let me focus here for a moment, because otherwise I'm gonna die probably. We're going very fast. Let's, let's slow down a little bit. We don't have to... Damn it! That turn! That fucking turn! And it throws you out of the level in its entirety, which is the biggest issue. If it just threw you out of the sub-level there, that would be acceptable. Annoying, but acceptable. Oh! It it does place you back in the sub-level, though. Okay, so I've, I've said nothing. i said nothing. That's not too bad. That was almost very bad. On my part. That, that, that would have totally been on me. And you also do get your life back pretty much every time uh, without fail when you die, it seems like. So, this is really not as bad as I remember it being. Maybe there's still a bad part to come, but I, I feel like that turn there is by and large the most difficult part of this slide. And we nailed that the second time around. Okay, so the things I remember about this slide aren't actually as bad as I remember them being. So, we just got another star. Now let's uh, do the skating the mountain one, because I really like the slide uh, as well. I mean, I just complained about it being bad, but I, I do still enjoy it. Just like the difference in the kind of challenge. There's only two of them in the entire game, right? Well, I suppose there's three. There's also one in the uh, the ice level. Like, not Snowman's Land, the other ice level. Uh, there's also a slide, but that is... That's a race. That is different. At least I think it's different. So different in fact that I just jumped to my death. I just realized that all those things are also red coins, um, which would have usually been very obvious because, well, they would have been red, but the blue now, so it doesn't register in my mind as immediately that they are red coins. 
But I was gonna do the scaling the mountain uh, star first. So let's do that one first because it's actually fairly easy. It's not that difficult to just get to the top of the mountain. It takes a while, but it's not that difficult. And I think with that, we'll have a pretty good ending point for this episode once we get to the top of this mountain. Was that thing there before? The, uh, the chuggy dude? I don't know its name. I don't know the names of most enemies in this game, so I'm going to butcher uh, those for anybody that actually is like big time into this game. And this is part of the reason why scaling the mountain takes me so goddamn long. And why I don't like that mission. Again, in the DS version, it's much better. Which is kind of sad, because the DS version does not have an analog stick, but it controls better than a version that ran on a console with an analog stick. That is... Frankly ridiculous, the fact that that is even possible. Though I suppose... If you played on the 3DS, you have a, a stick, right? But it still would only be a directional movement, even on the fuck you. Even on the 3DS, it would only be a directional movement, because the game wasn't programmed with a stick in mind. Because it's a DS game, not a 3DS game, so I'm fairly certain that even on the 3DS, and you might have more of a feeling of the stick, and as a result be able to control it a little bit better. It's still only going to be a directional movement on the DS version of the game, so in that sense, it's not superior to this version at all. Yet, it still controls better, which is really, really sad. Even the camera controls, I remember being better in the DS version. And again, there's no, like, right analog stick to... No, 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 <laughs> thank you. Um, there's no right analog stick mapped to the camera like you would find in, in modern games. It's, it's not in this version, but it's not on the 3D uh, or on the DS version either, because there's no stick to begin with, let alone a right stick. All of that being aside, the, the DS version is just a strictly better version of this game in most parts. Again, from a design perspective, the red coin missions get a little bit fucked by the fact that you have a, um, a bottom screen which shows you the red coins if you want to. But then you also have the uh, find the five secrets or something like that. Which I think those are still in the DS version and I don't think those show up on the map. Maybe I'm mistaken. I, I remember something being up with those, though, in the DS version as well. Um, but that is that is highly subjective. Like, from a just from a gameplay perspective, as I've been saying this entire time. Let's just long jump. Look, I'm going to focus on that log when we get back there. Because otherwise, this episode is going to take an hour. Because I fucking hate that log. I also hate the log in uh, Lethal Lava Land. I just hate the logs in this game. They're a really fun and interesting, unique, well, maybe not unique, but a really fun kind of mechanic. But they're also really annoying to walk on. <laughs> so, let's give it a little bit more thought as we uh, travel over it this time around. No, 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 no! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cut ahead until I make it. Because otherwise, again, this episode is gonna take fucking forever. And that's how you do it. That was so much easier when I wasn't talking. It's kind of ridiculous. So now we made it back to the part where the slide is. And oh my god, I'm gonna lie to these balls if I'm not careful! Okay, I think that's been the most difficult part of... Give me a coin, thank you. Uh, I think that's been the most difficult part of climbing the mountain, to be honest. I mean, this is also... No, 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 no. Oh my... Fuck. At least we can do this somewhat easily now. Do not get hit by the big metal balls coming in your direction because that'll be very painful and deadly right now because you're at one HP. 
I should be fine. Okay, uh, again, let's kill a Goomba or two to get a little bit of health back. It's risky because if I miss jump, I'll... You know what? If I miss jump, I'll die. I won't do it. Because there's plenty of coins right over here to heal me up. And I think we're close to the, uh, the summit of the mountain anyway, so we should be fine. And that is plenty for me. I'm not going to bother too much with 100 coin stars, by the way, um, because I've never liked those. I mean, I... I'm annoyed. Really, really annoyed. Because I didn't want to jump off there. Why did you jump then, you might ask? That is a very good question, because I felt like otherwise I was going to walk off. So the chance of me catching myself mid-air were worth it for me. I figured that might be an easier way of doing things. It obviously wasn't. Let's, uh, let's jump ahead until I'm back there, because that's going to take a while. I uh, accidentally made it to this place, which I didn't mean to, but I guess it's a good thing that we're here, in, in a way, because this is, uh, I think, a fairly easy way to get up as well. Yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, this might actually be easier than the way I used before. I don't know how I managed to get there, though, so I can't repeat it if I fall down again. But I shouldn't have to. I should not have to repeat it if I fall down again, because... The second part of that sentence is the most important part, if I fall down again. If I don't, it doesn't matter. That's the way I choose to look at things. Just don't fall down again, dummy. There's also a star down there in, in the waterfall, which is going to be real annoying to get. Okay, and then this should be the top of the mountain. Fucking finally. Man, that was annoying. I don't like that mission. <laughs> I really do not like that mission. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. Until the next time, do not forget, I've been Vlogger, you've been awesome. This is still the worst outro screen audio ever, but it's only gonna be here for 20 seconds. So, see you back next time. Bye. Yeah.